Welcome to iDency's TSG 550 installation and user setup guide. Introduction In this video we will show you how to initially set up your time and attendance device and connect it to the clock report software. Powering the device the first step is to get the right set of wires for the TSG 550. The pictures that you are seeing now are the wires and what they look like. The correct set of wires has four pins with four wires, red, green, white and black. The other wires and connectors are not needed and can be kept in the box. You should have received a power supply with the TSG 550. Inside that box there should also be an adapter, which looks like this. This is where you need a small screwdriver as the black and red wires need to be screwed into place. The red goes into the positive and the black goes into the negative. The black and red wires come from the connector I talked about before. The green and white wires are not needed and can be left. It's very important to note that you must get these wires the right way around. Please ask a qualified electrician to do it for you if you are unsure. At the back of the TSG 550 there is a red panel with some white connectors. This is where the 4 pin connector from the previous step should be plugged in. Connect the power lead to the black connector that you wired up and plug the white connector into the bottom right slot on the back of the TSG. Once this is done, plug in the power adapter to your main supply. Also connect the ethernet cable to the device. This ethernet cable needs to be plugged into your network and then plugged into the device. These images you are seeing now are before and after both cables have been put in. Basic controls for the device are as follows. The start button works as a back button. The hash button works as enter. F1 works as up, F2 works as down, and F4 works as cancel or delete. To access the admin menu, you must press the star button, followed by the buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as the hash button. The star button brings up the input manager ID screen, and 1, 2, 3, 4 is the default manager's PIN number. However, you can change this management PIN number anytime you'd like in the settings. Configuring the device. To begin with, we shall configure the communication settings. First, go into the menu by pressing the star button, followed by the buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then press the hash button to enter. Once in the main menu, go to the communication settings icon, using the F1 and F2 buttons, and then by pressing the hash button to enter. Set the device ID to a specific value for this device. If this is your second device, then set it to 2, etc. The baud rate should be set to 115200 BPS. Navigate down to the submenu that is called TCP slash IP settings. Make sure that the device IP is set to one specifically allocated to this device. Once this is done, set DHCP to yes. The settings should then all go to zero, and after a few seconds, DHCP should populate the IP address, gateway, and other settings. Make note of these settings, and then proceed to turn off the DHCP setting, and then ensure that the gateway and all the other settings match what they were under DHCP. Just change the IP address to the unique one that is to be used by the device, as this will be used in clock reports too. Once this is done, we need to go back to the computer or server so that we compare the device to the software clock reports. Connecting to clock reports. Now that the device is on your network and clock reports is installed on the computer, they can both be paired together. When clock reports is opened and no devices are connected, it will always open with the add device pop up. To connect the TSG 550, we need to go to the drop down list and select it from the list of devices. Now enter the serial number of your device. You can find it on the back side of the device near the connectors. Once entered, press submit to proceed to the next step. Device setup in clock reports. 
On this screen, you can put the IP address and location of the device in the field so that clock reports can pair with the device. Do not change the device ID number. The only time the device ID number needs to be changed is if you are using more than one clocking device. Once you've entered in all the information correctly, click save and then proceed to click on sync device. It will show that it is connecting to the TSG 550 successfully on the screen and will download any data that has already been entered if set up correctly. For more information please contact us at IDENCY on 01252 727 103 or visit our website at IDENCY.com. You can also request a written TSG 550 user setup guide from us.